of optional mathematics and the topic is sequence and series for the class 10 if you have gone through the class by class video of sequence and series now this is the time where we have to do some uh, numericals problems regarding geometric mean in my previous class there was a short introductions on geometric mean so now let us increase our level by question by question of the geometric means so my dear students please focus on the question here insert three geometric means between 1 by 4 and 4 so 1 by 4 is the first number 4 is the last number of the series and there are three geometric means inside them so it means we can interpret the question like this 1 by 4 it starts first mean second mean third mean and four is the last so my dear students how many means are there can you see regarding the questions there are three means so how many total number of terms are there can you say okay there are total number of terms is five first second third fourth five but as we used to say the second term is first mean the third term is second mean and the fourth term is third mean look here we have to insert three geometric means so in this case as i have told you already to give the geometric means we should know their common ratio by what number they multiply so that we can get it last to the four by the constant multiplication of the numbers and according to that we have a very very short knowledge on my last class that was here that was the first number a is 1 by 4 the last number b is 4 and the number of means n equals to 1 2 3 now we can find out r by we know to know the common ratio r we have one formula my dear students r n plus 1 equals to b by a if you have remembered in my last class there was given the formula to find out r when you have to calculate multiple means now okay so r r n plus 1 so b means can you see here b yeah it's last number 4 a means 1 by 4 or r n plus 1 how many numbers of means are means to add 3 so 3 plus 1 means 4 now by the mathematical rule the 4 will jump previous or uh, upward so 4 multiplied 4 is 16 or r4 equals to 2 power 4 therefore r equals to 2 it means now the 2 should be multiplied to get each geometric means that is why that is first mean equals to the i told you the direct relation of first mean that is a into r a means 1 by 4 into r means 2 so how much you got now 1 by 2 so here is 1 by 2 now let's calculate again let's calculate the second mean m2 equals to a r square a means 1 by 4 r means 2 2 square so you will get 1 so this is 1 my dear students again again third mean m3 equals to a r3 and that is a means 1 by 4 r3 means 2 to power 3 it will be a so 8 divided by 4 is 2 so this is 2 my dear students so we have successfully calculated the three means inside 1 by 4 and 4 so my dear students how do you got this so if you have still confused please just rewind the previous video previous class and come to this class remain and you have, you shouldn't forget when you use this formula r n plus 1 b by e it is not used every time when you have to insert multiple means then you should know the common ratio in that case only this formula is applicable my dear student so i think you are getting what i am telling so now i will get you to another one example another one be ready now your level will increase 
question by question so i am robbing this and i will give you one question so that you will feel easy when you go for the exercise and the question is example number three some some geometric means are inserted between 5 and 80 find the number of means between them if second mean is second mean is 20 so my dear student so if you compare the questions and the previous questions they both are similar but but there is one slight change between the questions in the previous questions that i saw there was there were first and last term no doubt we have also but there was the number of means were given now the number of means are hidden and we have given our extra choice that is second mean is 20 so now we can interpret the question by this it starts from 5 and there are some means we don't know and it ends to 80 but the, the choice given is 20 the second mean is 20 so this will help us to find what this is help us to find the common ratio so so according to question now we can write the first term is 5 the last term is 80 and the number of mean n is we don't have that we have to find it and we have given second mean m2 is 20 so what will happen if we use this choice clue first of all okay let's use the clue that is that is second mean m2 equals to 20 so if you know the m2 formula we can directly relate m2 in terms of a and r that is a r square equals to 20 my dear students when you interpret term t2 it is a r but when you write mean 2 second mean it is a r square don't get confused in terms and means because they don't have the same meaning the second term is first mean so first mean formula will be a r remember so now since we have the first term a that is 5 dot r square 20 so r square equals to now it will divide so what is the result 4 therefore r equals to 2 you can relate so it means you got the common ratio now 2 will be multiplied 5 10 10 into 2 20 object 20 right now now we have a last job to done is again to find out the number of means that is r power n plus 1 <coughs> b by a r means here 2 to power n plus 1 b by a means 80 by 5 because you know the last term is 80 and first term is 5 so 2 power n plus 1 equals to now if you cancel it you will get it 16 or 2 power n plus 1 equals to 2 power 4 isn't it yes now when the base are equal the power will be equal n plus 1 equals to 4 therefore n equals to 3 my dear student so according to the question there were three geometric means inserted understood okay so these are the two questions which will obviously help you when you go through the geometric means problem remember my dear student again i will focus you there will be very much easy for you if you will but but it has not been over we have to do two more difficult questions remember 
two more difficult questions so that the exercise will be completed my dear students so i hope you will wait for the next video for the complex problem so till then goodbye stay safe and have a great time thank you